In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply manual fades and auto fades or set up auto fades in Cubase. This is Cubase 10, but it should work pretty much the same way in every version or every sort of modern version anyway. Um, so say you're recording a song and you're recording each part individually. So you're recording the chorus part and then a verse part and then another verse part or another chorus part or bridge and in between sections of audio what you might find is that sometimes they sort of click because the audio isn't sort of exactly aligned um so what you need to do to manually do, set it up easiest way is to hold in command and zoom in on where the cursor is pointed or you can click on the actual section and scroll on this little section down here and that'll take you in like directly on the part that you need and what I found is that the sweet point is around four milliseconds so you have to zoom in quite a lot and then one two three four one two three four four and four. Uh, the default are not curved, but real fades have curves. So you double click on the actual. It's a little bit fiddly actually to get this dialog box to open up. But you have to double click on the feed. I wish they would make it a little bit easier to do that. Um, you double click on the feed, you select the feed type that you want. You can set up a manual feed if you want. And then you can hit that you want that one to be your default, hit apply. And that gives you the particular type of fade that you're after. So four milliseconds, four milliseconds on both sides. And I found that that's the sort of sweet spot for getting rid of clicks, but also not having any audible sort of dip in the audio in between. And then I'll play this back. You can hear it. No more click. Now the other way to do it is with automated feeds. So if I get rid of these and then go up to the project menu and then hit auto feed settings, then you can set your curve type, auto feed in, auto feed out, and then set that to four milliseconds, which is what I have it set to. And that's what I was using manually as well. Hit OK. And so the feeds aren't visually there anymore, but they're still being applied on a system, like a global level. So yeah. That's how you set up either manual feeds or auto feeds in QBS. So hopefully that's helped somebody. Cheers.